The Israel Defense Force admitted to mistakenly killing three hostages during combat in Gaza. An IDF commander released a statement saying the shooting of those hostages was against the rules of engagement. ABC's Johnny Fernandez has the latest. The Israeli military admitted to accidentally shooting and killing three Israeli hostages. According to the IDF's preliminary investigation, a soldier saw them as a threat and opened fire, killing two instantly. The third man was injured and ran back into the building. Someone then cried help in Hebrew. The IDF then says the battalion commander ordered his troops to stop firing, but another burst was fired, killing the third hostage. We'll learn the lessons and we'll keep fighting Hamas. It's a very, very complex battle space. Uh, the IDF is doing everything we can. Uh, there's been uh, multiple successes, and there will also be mistakes. The men identified as 28-year-old Yotam Haim, 26-year-old Elon Shamritz, and 22-year-old Samir Talaki. <laughs> IDF Lieutenant General Hatsi Halavi releasing a video statement saying the hostages did everything possible so Israeli troops would understand, being shirtless so they wouldn't be suspected of carrying explosive and waving a white cloth. But he said tensions overcame the situation and admitted the shooting was against the rules of engagement. That is forbidden to shoot at someone who raises a white flag and seeks to surrender. Prime Minister Netanyahu calling the deaths an unbearable tragedy. More than 100 hostages were thought to remain in Gaza. Confirmation Saturday that another one was killed in Hamas captivity. 27-year-old Inbar Haman. She tried to run on October 7th, but was captured by Hamas terrorists on motorcycles at the Rim Music Festival. Meanwhile, in Kanyunis, dozens gathering for an emotional funeral for Al Jazeera journalist Summer Abu Dhaka, who died from his injuries after an Israeli airstrike in southern Gaza. Johnny Fernandez, ABC News, New York.